on April 18th, registration for Fall 2020 begins. And also on April 20th, final exams will start and end on April 23rd. Please stay tuned for your news. Good day, all Corn and surrounding areas. This is your daily news brief brought to you by WPRL 91.7 FM. In sports news, former Texas Rangers star Josh Hamilton has been indicted on a felony charge of injury to a child after his teenage daughter accused him of beating her. Terry County Grand Jury indicted the 38-year-old Hamilton on Monday. He remains free on 30,000 bond after he turned himself to authorities on October 30th. He faced a prison sentence of 2 to 10 years in prison. Hamilton Authority said the Texas Rangers Hall of Famer is innocent of the charge. His 14-year-old daughter told her mother, Hamilton ex-wife, that her father struck her after he became enraged by a comment from her. According to Kelly Police Department, Detective Hamilton daughter told police that he went on a rampage September 30th. She said she made a comment to Hamilton that upset him, so he threw a full water bottle overhand at her, hitting her in the chest then cursed and shout at her. In other sports news, NBA and WNBA players and former NBA players plan to participate in a horse competition that will be on ESPN, the network reported on Wednesday. ESPN and other networks are looking for content to air while games are not being played. ESPN is in the middle of a 16-player NBA 2K video game tournament, and the horse event is another way for fans to watch players participate. Horse is a game in which players have to make the identical shot of the person shooting before them. A player who missed gets a H. That player is eliminated once the horse is failed. Creativity is the name of the game and horse with players using crazy tricks like shots to eliminate opponents. The ESPN report did not say when it plans to televise this event. In entertainment news, George and Alma Clooney are leading a helping hand. The Hollywood power couple donated more than one million towards coronavirus release. Clooney rep Stan Rosenfield confirmed to US Today Wednesday. The Clooney's donated 250000 each to the motion pictures and television homes where Clooney sits on the board of direction. The SAG AF Trade Fund in Los Angeles Mayor's Fund. The Clooney's are the latest celebrities pitching in with their own wallets when it comes to taking action to help others during this coronavirus. In other entertainment news, Martin Family spent 11 seasons clustered in Los Angeles in Wednesday one hour season finale. They separate their wings and move on to new adventures in place near and far. Co-creators Steve Levitine and Christopher Lord want the characters to mirror the feelings of loyalty viewers who have befriended the family over 250 episodes. Chris and I have always liked finales where people are in some form saying goodbyes because that's why the audience is doing it. Levitine said the goal delivers a solid, funny episode that feels real and gives you the emotional send-off I think everybody craves. In the weather, currently it's mostly clear and sunny and 80 degrees. Tonight, lowest will be 53 degrees. This news brief brought to you by WPRL 91.7 FM. We now return you to your regular scheduled programming. Today, we are back with another speaking segment. What can we do inside of the house? Since this coronavirus has been going on, we are quarantined in our homes. And I feel like this is the perfect time for us as people to get more closer with our families and know some things that we don't know with our families. This is a time where we can put our phones down, our laptops down, and just talk with our family, find new ways that we can spend time with our family, like watch a movie together, do a movie review on it, tell the pros and cons about the movie, or read a book, do poetry, or you can also learn how to cook. There's also board game, card game, you can color. It's so many things that you can do uh, inside of a home, but also it's just that time where you can spend time with your family and be more connected with your family. And I feel like this is a good thing for us because all we do is go out, go out and never think about what our family is doing. So I think this is a perfect time for us to come more as a family and just get to know each other as a family. I also think about when this coronavirus is over in this quarantine and when we are going to be able to go back outside, 
you can also think what do you want to do set some goals and some things that you don't think you can do but you know you can do just write them down and remind yourself that hey i am going to do this when this is all over and also keep a positive mindset about the situation because i know this is hard and a lot of people are dying from this coronavirus but just know that we are going to get through this and we are going to be able to go back outside one day and everything is this storm will be eventually over it will all be over and we can go back to being normal but this i feel like this is also a lesson god is trying to tell us something and we're not listening so we need to start listening and see what he's actually showing us this brings an end to my show i hope you could get something out of the speaking segment and i hope to see you next friday at four o'clock p.m